What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and we're going to discuss another Tekken 7 theory. Now, the last three videos I did on Tekken 7 were based on the plot. We went over why Akuma might owe Kazumi a favor, which Mishima's going to survive, and where Jin fits in with the Tekken 7 story. We've covered all three of those, and now I think it's time to go after one of the side plots. The origin of the Devil Gene. So let's try and figure this out. Let's start by figuring out what is the oldest source we have of the Devil Gene? The answer to that question is Azazel. He's stated to be one of the roots of the Devil Gene, not THE root, one of the roots of it, which means there's plenty more. Or a few more. However, before the events of Tekken 6, Azazel was trapped away in a different dimension inside a tomb or something, and could not attain physical form until Jin filled the world with chaos. So, Azazel's on standby, we'll come back to him later. The second oldest is Kazumi Mishima. Now I know what you're thinking, what about Jinpachi? And while in-game it did say he was consumed by the devil, Katsuhiro Harada himself has confirmed that it was actually a revengeful ghost that had taken over Jinpachi. His reasoning for the change? I have no clue. But that does mean that Jinpachi is out of the question, so of course next is Kazumi Mishima. Now as far as we know, she is indeed the first Mishima to come in contact with the Devil Gene. But as of right now, the only person we know who has it is Azazel. And Azazel's sealed away, so how on earth did Kazumi come into contact with the Devil Gene? Let's look at that prophecy from Tekken 6 again. Azazel was meant to be the destroyer of the world, right? But he can't do that without a physical form, right? The only way to do that is to fill the world with chaos, and the only one who can do that is someone powerful. And who better for the devil to use as his puppet for causing chaos and bringing Azazel into the physical world than Heihachi Mishima? This could very well indeed be the curse of the Mishima bloodline, the curse being that their blood is so powerful that it draws in all these evil entities who want to use the Mishima's power for evil purposes. This makes perfect sense too, because out of all the people in the world, that revengeful ghost went after Jinpachi when he was trapped under Honmaru. Because of his powerful Mishima blood, that spirit was drawn towards him. Anyways, back to Heihachi. The devil obviously wanted to go after him for his power, right? But why would he go after Kazumi if it was Heihachi's power that he wanted? One of two scenarios happened. One, either he did try to go after Heihachi and was defeated, so he had to retreat to Kazumi. Or two, he either used Kazumi as a vessel to wait till Heihachi was vulnerable. But obviously Kazumi is very powerful too, so how come the devil would get to her and not Heihachi? This fits right in with my Akuma theory that I came up with in the first video. It's very possible that the devil could have lured her in with some kind of promise. It could have explained and shown to her the kind of future that Heihachi would cause. So the devil could have tricked her into letting itself into her in exchange for power to stop Heihachi. Then after that she meets Akuma, all the stuff I theorized in that video happens, Jinpachi is locked up by Heihachi, all the stuff that the devil told her was starting to come true, so she realizes she needs to put a stop to it, she has Akuma on standby, and then of course she's defeated and killed by Heihachi because he's too powerful. And also because the Devil Gene's power was weakened and split in half when she had Kazuya. Similar to how Heihachi was able to beat Kazuya because his power was split in half when he impregnated Jun. And this explains why they're all trying to kill each other. The devil that has taken over Kazuya is trying to kill Jin to regain control of the full power of the Devil Gene, while he's also trying to kill Heihachi so he has an even stronger vessel to control. With him whole again and at full power with a powerful body to command, it's possible that he could recreate Azazel and a whole army of beasts to cause destruction to the world and fulfill his plan. And that explains what the Devil Gene is, different fragments of the Devil's power that got split apart and need to be put back together like a puzzle. And that's why all the Mishimas are trying to kill each other so the Devil's power can be put back into one and its thirst for destruction can be quenched. And that is the mystery behind the Devil Gene and the curse of the Mishima bloodline. Now that we've covered the side plot, what are the side characters up to? What are Paul and Law up to? Have King and Marduk resolved their Armor King mystery? What's going on? Let's find out next time.